Hi, boys and girls. It's Miss Burke again. Um, I was so happy that some of you were able to go to the uh, teacher parade yesterday at Moser. It was so great to see you. Um, and I miss you. Today we're going to be doing a cat drawing uh, by an artist named Laurel Birch. And um, you can color it in however you want uh, and use whatever materials you want. But I'm just going to keep it simple um, to make sure that you have, you know, at least a pencil drawing of it. Um, it's pretty cool. All right, here we go. Okay. So, make sure that we're in frame. Move it this way a little bit. Okay. That one you can kind of see. There we go. All right, so it kind of breaks the cat down into shapes. So you're gonna to wanna to, uh, follow along with me. Um, although this one has the opportunity to have a lot of different um, variations on uh, the Laurel Birch cats, which she's very well known for. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do uh, right around the middle of your paper, you could go to one side or the other if you'd like. Um, you're going to do kind of like a W shape, okay? Um, make it kind of roundish, because this is the bottom of the cat's face. Then you're going to do two ears, which are kind of like the tops of triangles, and then you're going to connect those two. Kind of has a wide kitty face, okay? Then the next step you're going to do is the nose, and that is basically kind of like a letter V, and then up and up from there for the nose. And then you're going to do two big kind of eyes and close those up with a smile line to make these really big cat eyes, okay? Um, then the next thing you do, and you can put the line on the nose if you'd like, and then you can put some whiskers and at the bottom, you can make a little smile for the cat's chin. And then the body, you're gonna start about, oh, about middle of the head, and you're gonna just do a half of a rainbow line down, go across the bottom, and then right about the other side of the head, um, go over a little further, just draw a line straight down. Okay, and that's the body of the cat. And then um, she always has two legs in the front. She kind of keeps them simple. They don't have any um, any claws or anything. And then the tail, you can basically just do a wiggle up and a wiggle back, okay? If you wanna do a curly Q tail, that would be fine. And then from this point, this is the cat. And again, you can work large, way larger than Miss Burke. I'm just doing it to keep it on the frame, but you can make this as big as your whole paper or even bigger if you have the if you have the means. So now you're going to add different details and she likes to do, and you can see in the comments and the pictures um, below, she likes to do a lot of designs. Um, so they're kind of simple, but they're very, um, they're a very nice way to identify her work and also um, to decorate that it's broken down into simple shapes, so they're not very complicated. So um, you can do things like tiger stripes all over the whole body. You can split the body into pieces and um, put different patterns in different sections. Uh, so let's say you can do, you know, cur like curves, spirals, circles, dots, um, what else, zigzags. And again, you're gonna wanna fill in the whole space of the part you're working on just to kind of show the different designs that you're using. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a bunch of frowns in here. Um, I'm gonna do some wiggles in here. I'm gonna do some triangles in here. You can do upside down triangles, just break that apart. And then let's see what else.
else here. Let's do some, let's do more spirals. I love spirals. Okay, just kind of go on one end and then complete that. And then the tail, um, maybe we'll do some triangles, but we'll like alternate them. Okay, or you could just do a whole zigzag. All right, so this is your Laurel Birch um, cat and feel free to color in whatever colors you want. The more colorful, the better. Again, you can use crayon, colored pencil, watercolor, marker, uh, whatever you have to color her um, your kitty in. And you can make several of these because they're very easy and very fun. I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you next week.